Craig Deason from IdeaStream here with Ed Tompkins from Heinen's to give you a little rundown on what to do at the Heinen's WVIC World Series of Wine Grand Tasting. Ed, there's like 400 wines from 150 wineries. Boy, that's a lot. It is a lot. So you need a strategy. Otherwise, heck, you can just taste a lot of wines, but really you're not going to learn a lot about wines. And us at Heinen's and certainly uh, as partnerships with WVIC, we believe that an educated consumer can really appreciate and enjoy wine much more than a person who's just tasting wine arbitrarily. So what do I do? You need a strategy. Yeah. And the strategy is contained here. It's in the tasting program that you receive when you enter the Terrace Club this year at the World Series of Wine. Every wine to be tasted, as Peg mentioned, over 400 is listed in the tasting program. You can go from country to country if you like, from floor to floor, or what I recommend, from white to red. Uh, and actually, even more specifically, champagnes to whites to red. Why? Well, I love champagne, and secondly, because the crisper the white, the more your palate understands it when you're first starting out with wines. The little nuances of delicacies of the white, uh -huh. they're there that if you do the, the, the heavy red wines first, they'll be lost. So, champagne first, kind of tickle the bubbles, get your palate acclimated to what it's tasting. Go into the Sauvignon Blancs, the light whites, the big whites like uh, Chardonnay, maybe the Rieslings following, and then into the light reds, Pinot Noir, uh, Merlot, Zinfandel, Cabernet. It just gives your palate a chance to really understand what it's tasting, so you can make a critical assessment of what you like, what you don't like, and why you like it. And you told me end up with sweet wine last? Yeah, absolutely, because once you introduce sweetness to your palate, it'll make a dry wine seem drier. So things like ports, sauterne, uh, dessert wines, the late harvest Rieslings, you always want to do those last with some of the desserts because that's when your palate will finally reach its nadir of being able to tell the difference. Well, now there's a lot of food at the Heinz yeah, WBIC World Series of Wine. Do you do you suggest trying different foods with Absolutely. different wines sure. or what? Well, sure, we can experiment. You can try wines. You, you might not have heard of a uh, Sauvignon Blanc from the Loire, Valley, the Loire Valley before. You can try it. However, with food, you can do the same thing. You can experiment. So this whole white wine with white meats and red wine with red meat kind of thing, that's fine. However, if the light meatballs we're going to have this year, which mm -hmm. are delicious, or the couscous yeah. rock and influenced, Pinot Noir as a red, I think would be ideal with that. However, a Sauvignon Blanc might work too. So the thing is, you try the Sauvignon Blanc. If you like it, you have a new discovery. If not, there's plenty of Pinot Noir that you can uh, find your comfort zone again. And so when you taste them, you're going to do a lot of different things. And coming up, we're going to tell you a little bit more about how to taste wine. 